Mecca is guides. <laughs> hey everyone, Maka here playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3's campaign and in this video I'll show you the easiest way to destroy an airborne enemy helicopter with a mortar strike that'll reward you with the that's one way to do it achievement slash trophy and the easiest way to do this is to load up into the mission reactor and make sure you are on the regular difficulty. The first thing you want to do is land just in front of and to the right of the nearest helicopter on top of this building, grab the mortar strike. We're going to keep it for later as this is what we'll use to actually grab the achievement or trophy. You can then go and parachute over to the fire hall. This is an important building and you want to remember exactly where it is. We're going to come back here a little bit later on. Grab the VTOL jet and then use the VTOL jet in order to destroy the first helicopter. Now what we're trying to do in this first section of the video is to get the armored helicopter to spawn. And what I found is that the easiest way to get it to spawn is to destroy two helicopters and then go up onto the roof of the reactor. This will get it to spawn basically every single time for me. And then once that helicopter spawns, I'll show you how to actually grab the achievement or trophy. The next thing we want to do is go from the fire hall towards the kind of main reactor where you can find the letter A. And here you'll find the supply drop and a precision airstrike nearby. Use the precision airstrike to take out the second helicopter and make sure you grab your mortar strike back up as you will need it coming up soon. If you then run around the corner and ascend onto the roof of this reactor, this will almost always spawn the armored enemy helicopter. This is the helicopter you need. You may also get small enemy reinforcement helicopters to spawn. These do not count. The exact dialogue you're waiting for is Bravo 6, be advised, a Kony armored helo is overhead. And here it will spawn from the west. From the top of the reactor, once it spawns, let's go and get its attention. You want to just basically get underneath it and make sure your minimap turns bright red. Once that happens, it should start shooting at you and you now fully have its attention and you want to go and make sure that we get this helicopter to come and follow us back to the fire hall. If you need a reference point as to where the fire hall is on the minimap, it is in the D6 grid and there may be a couple of enemies in the downstairs area as you approach. So make sure you take care of them just to be safe. You do want to keep an eye on your minimap and make sure that it is bright red the whole time or else the enemy helicopter may just kind of leave you alone. And it does occasionally kind of get stuck behind the crane and near other buildings. But once the helicopter is following you, go inside of the fire hall and locate the staircase near the north side. Go up the staircase and your goal here is for the helicopter to quote unquote lose you you'll get dialogue at the bottom of your screen to let you know. The easiest way for it to lose you is basically just to sit in the building behind walls where it can't really see you. And once it does lose you, it will come to rest above you in this building almost every single time. Now, all you wanna do is sit directly underneath the helicopter, aim your mortar strike at the roof and fire. The mortars will rain down and hopefully one of them hit the helicopter. Unfortunately, mortar strikes are not infinitely precise and it is very easy to miss even though you are right there. If you do miss, you can collect more mortar strikes on the grid at C3 and H3, or you can just restart the mission and try again. Shout out to Lord Maca 666 on True Achievements, no correlation to me, for developing some of the strategies. Don't forget to drop a like and share the video with a friend. Special thanks to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show. Peace.